So here I'm giving it a good scrape. She likes a good scrape. I do, I do scrapey dubby dub. Scrape, 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 scrape. Hello and welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and I'm a non-traditional equestrian and my channel is all about how we keep horses at Fountain Cottage. This video is all about the groom coming into spring. So horses start to shed their coats in England in about May time. Obviously this depends completely on the weather. Um, we've been having up and down weather. In April it started getting very warm and then it's dropped again and got very chilly and we had very windy weather again. So I quite often start with, I think this is actually a brush cleaner, but it works amazing to get the horse's fur out. So I just run it along the kind of fatty parts of Evie's body. Um, I would never use this over her knees or any parts that it could kind of knock her bones as this would become kind of quite sore and you can imagine it would be quite irritating so I just start and I'll get out all the fur that I can and you can see there is a lot so you can actually get a device called a Furminator and this is like this weird little brush I think you can get them for dogs as well and um, if I find the website that sells them I'll put a link down in the description for you um, and this is the device perfect for this it's used to get all the kind of molting hairs out and you just want to spend like a good couple of hours um, just getting all of that hair out um, it's been quite a while since I gave Evie a really good brush so um, she's kind of done a lot of it for me so again on the other side you can see a lot of it coming out you just want to keep going at it and just really getting in there and getting all of that hair out because as it starts to warm up it's gonna get warm and sweaty and you just really don't want your horse overheating and um, the horses at Fountain Cottage aren't clipped or rugged so as it gets warm they are gonna start getting sweaty um, Evie is ridden so she she's gonna get sweaty as we start going out on our adventures and everything so you just want to make sure she's comfortable and the tack's not rubbing next I go in with a flicker brush I think some people also call this a dandy brush I could be completely wrong with this bit useless with names at the riding school when I was younger we used to always call it a flicker brush because you use it to flick dirt off and that's exactly what I'm using it for. So I'm literally just going in and just flicking all the loose hairs off her. And as you can see, I'm a nosy person, so just having a chat with everyone. So just going in, flicking every loose hair and make sure you flick kind of off them. Um, so you're not rubbing it down onto them, you're actually coming up and off. Okay, so now I'm just brushing Evie's mane and tail. I have a concoction spray thing that is a mix of really deep conditioning. It's a hair mask and I just mix 50% of that with water, put it in a cheap spray bottle and I spray that through her mane and then I brush it through. Um, a bit like if you was brushing your own hair, you want to be gentle with it and start at the bottom, work your way up. Obviously, if you get stuck at a knot, you don't want to be sitting there like ripping at it because you are going to damage the hair. You want it to be nice and smooth and looked after a bit like your own. So make sure you're doing nice, gentle movements. Um, Evie's hair is so gorgeous. I'm very jealous of it. But um, you just want to spray this through. You can get mane and tail spray and that works just as well. Next onto her feet, she has fairly dry feet and she loves to help out so you can see it's quite difficult to hold her foot while she's trying to hold it for you and um, 
you just want to make sure there's no dirt, stones, sticks, anything like that. She's fairly clean with her feet, so it's fairly easy and quick. Um, I just like to just double check, make sure there's nothing there. Um, usually her feet are very empty and clean, so it's a very quick job. So if you've enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like and uh, leave a comment if there's something you'd like to see in the future. I like to do very different videos that maybe if you're in a question you haven't seen before. We do very different things here at Fountain Cottage. We like to keep it a lot more natural, but not in the naturalist horsemanship way. It's very different. And if you'd like to see more, please go check out my horse track system video. I'll try and leave a card um, at the top of the video here. But if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I hope to see everyone next time. Thank you so much for watching.